three bags. One bag contains a $15,000 scholarship, the opportunity to compete for more at Miss America, and of course, the title of Miss Connecticut. Two bags contain nothing, but will come with a runner-up scholarship for $5,000 and an unlimited supply of nail products. Now, in the event that you choose the same bag, we will begin again and keep playing until we have a result. Audience, please be quiet. Vicky, I will ask you to leave the stage and go into our soundproof booth backstage. Felicia, please choose a bag. Three. Bag three, great. Now I will show you one of the bags that does not contain the title and $15,000 scholarship. Felicia, please leave the stage. Vicky, please choose a bag. One. Bag one, great. Now I will show you one of the bags that does not contain the title and $15,000 scholarship. Felicia, please join us on stage. Now here is the part where you get to decide if you would like to stay with your original choice or switch to the bag you did not pick. Felicia, would you like to stay with your original choice or switch? I'd like to switch. Vicky, would you like to stay with your original choice or switch? I would like to stay. Please give the contestants their bags. Let me see if I get this right. We've had them show off their skills and display their beauty, and now it's up to chance? Games are so fun. I think I prefer the traditional route. But this way, they don't have to think. Precisely. Felicia Roberts, our new Miss Connecticut. Felicia is a senior at Yale University where she's a double major in chemistry and mathematics. Felicia, you must be so excited by the turn of events this evening. I can't believe they used the Monty Hall problem as the basis for the crowning. I doubled my chances of winning. I love probability. Um, well, so how does it feel to be Miss Connecticut? It's amazing. And what is your platform issue? Math education. Wonderful, wonderful. What are your plans before you compete in January in Las Vegas? Apply to the PhD program with Terrence Tao at UCLA. And the funky functions are going to New York City! Yeah! <laughs> well, there you have it. Our new Miss Connecticut, Felicia Roberts, will be representing us at the Miss America pageant in January. Congratulations, Felicia, and all the lovely contestants on a job well done. Again, Felicia. It's me you have to contend with now, Benson. What are you doing here? I'm a master student here. Since I have experience with your team, they asked me to advise, and I was happy to oblige. 
I've been helping our team leader, Jimmy, on techniques. Our strategy has totally changed since last year. So tell that to your team. We're ready. Ready for anything. You know who we are, right? You do realize our math department is far superior to yours. My office is right next to SRS Faradan's office. The man himself, President Obama, awarded him the National Medal of Science two years ago. You know what? I don't even care. That's it. <clears throat> Welcome to the Courant Institute of Mathematical Sciences, which has played a central role in the development of applied mathematics, analysis, and computer science for 75 years. We're excited to get this final match started. First question. Prove that every element in a vector space has a unique additive inverse. This is interesting. Courant <laughs> 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 79, Yale 73. Last question before our halftime break. Three points. Prove that if V is finite dimensional, then every spanning list of vectors in V with length of dim V is a basis of V. Brings us to our halftime intermission. Is it true that you applied to the UCLA program with Terry Tao? You don't even like prime numbers. Your grandfather could just buy you in, just, just make a West Coast wine wing. You knew that was my dream. 